हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शंस इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग अ फंक्शन इज अ ब्लॉक ऑफ कोड दैट कैन बी यूज्ड टू परफॉर्म अ स्पेसिफिक एक्शन सी अलाउज प्रोग्रामर्स टू राइट देयर ओन फंक्शंस आल्सो नोन एज यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शंस अ यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शन हैज थ्री मेन कंपोनेंट्स that are function declaration function definition and function call functions needs to be written once and can be called as many times as required inside the program which increase reusability in code and makes code more readable and easy to test debug and maintain the code every function having three parts function declaration function definition and function call this is the function definition actual code is written inside the definitions of the function int is a return type then sum is the name of the user defined function int a comma int b these are the parameter list parameters used in function definitions are known as formal parameters int c this is a local variable declare inside the definition of some function then c is equal to a plus b this is a executable statement function return type is int then function return integer value return c return type specify the data types of the value being returned by the function a function may or may not return a value if the function does not return a value then the return type is void in this case in this case the return value is an integer value c which means the return type would be int parameter list the list of formal parameter being passed on to the function in this case there are two parameters of type int passed to the function int a comma int b parameter used in function definitions are known as formal parameters local variable or local declaration the variable that are declare inside the function are known as local variable int c c is a local variable that is declare c is a local variable that is declare inside the definition of some function the scope of these variable lies within the function and they are not accessible outside the function the accessibility of local variable c is only within the sum function function body comprise of everything inside the curly brackets opening curly brackets and closing curly brackets following the return type function name and the parameter list then function name the name of the function can be anything that you want the standard is to make it something related to what is supposed to do the naming conventions follow the same rule as that of variable naming convention in c second part is function declaration function declaration tells the compiler all about the function these inside the function name the return type and the number and type of the parameter the body of the function having the function definition can be defined somewhere else 
function declaration basically informs to the compiler about the return type name of the function and return type of the function function declaration is also known as function prototype the syntax for function declaration is return type function name then parameter list int is a return type sum is the name of the function int num1 comma int num1 these are the parameters we can also declare function like return type function name and data type int is a return type sum is the name of the function then pass the data type int comma int that means two parameters are there which are of integer type then the third part is calling a function control of the program is transferred to the user defined function by calling how to call the function function name then parameter list types of user defined function there can be four different types of user defined functions function with no argument and no return value function with no argument and a return value function with arguments and no return value function with the arguments and return a value first one is function with no argument and no return value such functions can either be used to display information and they are completely dependent on user input for example two numbers as input from the user and display which is greater number first of all declare function how to declare function return type function name then parameter list in this case function with no argument no argument is there and no return value return type is void then inside the main function how to call the function by function name then function definition how to define function return type function name and parameter list now in this case no return type is there and no argument is there then inside the definition of great num function declare two local variables i and j then with printf function in with printf function display the message and with the help of scanf function input the value of i and j if i is greater than j if this condition is true then greater number is i otherwise greater number is j if this condition is evaluated to be false second category is function with no argument and return a value now in this case function having no argument but return the number return a value now in this case function having no argument but return a value return type is there first of all declare a function return type then name of the function no argument is there and inside the main function declare one variable which is of integer type for a result then after that call the function result is equal to great num then with the help of printf function display the message the greater number is percentage d and percentage d return the value of a result then after that define the function how to define function return type then name of the function no argument is there then inside the definition of great num function declare three variables i and j for input and greater num means for output with printf display the message with scanf input the value of i and j then after that put the condition if i is greater than j if this condition is true then value of i is assigned to greater num otherwise value of j is assigned to greater num and finally function return greater num 
and control back to the main function then the greater num is percentage d and percentage d display the value of result third one is function with the argument and no return value now in this case function having arguments but no return value first of all declare a function no return type but function having arguments then inside the main function declare two variables i and j with printf display the message with scanf input the value of i and j then call the great num function function having no return type but with arguments when this function call value of i and j is copied into x and y the parameter used in function call are known as actual parameters and parameter used in function definitions are known as formal parameters when this function call control transfer to the function definition and value of i and j is copied into x and y then check the condition if x is greater than y then greater number is x otherwise greater number is y in this case function with the argument and no return value and finally function with the argument and return a value now it make the function completely independent of input and output and only the logic is defined inside the function body first of all declare a function function having return type and argument then inside the main function declare three variables i j and result i and j for input and result is for output first of all with print a function display the message with scanf input i and j then call the function when this function call control transfer to the function definition and value of i and j is copied into x and y then check the condition if x is greater than y then this function return x otherwise this function return y in this case function with argument and return a value let's see the example of user defined function every user defined function having three parts function declaration function call and function definition first of all we have to declare function how to declare function return type name of the function and parameter list function having two parameters then inside the main function declare three variables n1 n2 and s n1 n2 are the variables for input and s is the variable for output then after that with the help of print a function display the message enter n1 and n2 with scanf function input the value of n1 and n2 then after that we have to call the function s is equal to name of the function name of the function is sum and sum function takes two argument n1 comma n2 then after that with the help of printf function display the sum then after that define the function how to define function return type name of the function 
and function takes argument int a comma int b n1 and n2 are the actual argument and a and b are the formal argument now inside the body of user defined function sum write down the actual logic int c c is a local variable and c is equal to a plus b then after that return c every user defined function having three parts function declaration function definition and function call function declaration is also known as function prototype a function prototype is simply the declaration of the function that specify function name parameters and return type it does not contain function body a function prototype gives the information to the compiler that the function may later be used in the program in this example int sum int a comma int b is the function prototype which provides the following information to the compiler that is the name of the function is sum return type of the function is int and two arguments of type int are passed to the function and the function prototype is not needed if the user defined function is defined before the main function function prototype is optional after that calling a function control of the program is transferred to the user defined function by calling function in this example the function call is made using sum n1 comma n2 statement inside the main function then after that we have to define the function function definition contains the block of code to perform a specific task in this example adding two numbers and and returning it when a function is called the control of the program is transferred to the function definition and the compiler starts executing the code inside the body of function now what do you understand by passing arguments to a function in programming argument refer to the variable pass to the function in this example two variable n1 and n2 are passed during the function call and the parameter a and b accept the passed argument in the function definition and these arguments are called formal parameters of the function the type of argument passed to the function and the formal parameter must match otherwise the compiler will throw an error if n1 is of character type and a also should be of character type if n2 is of integer type then variable b also should be of integer type a function can also be called without passing an argument then what is the use of return statement the return statement terminates the execution of the function and return a value to the calling function the program control is transferred to the calling function after the return statement now in this example the value of c variable is returned to the main function and the s variable in the main function is assigned this value now run this code after the execution of this code first of all enter the value of n1 and n2 value of n1 is 12 and value of n2 is 30 now sum is equal to 25 is to be printed on to the screen this is all about user defined function in c programming Oh, 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 oh,